Hello, my name is Chelsea, your host from The Local Experiment. We are here at Expose 507, the photography exhibit, and I'm about to go and interview a bunch of photographers, so come along. Joe Mashaj Scorza. Did I get it right? It's really close. Was it really close? It was a really good job, yeah. Are you, are you most, proud of me? Most people can't handle it. It's Mashad Scorza. Mashad Scorza. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you're different than most photographers because you are doing visual video. And what is, is the medium with that are you trying to get across to the individual that's watching it? Sure. Well, I work for the Post Bulletin newspaper, you know, and they give me different stories to cover. And some stories we just feel like video is going to be better for illustrating certain aspects of it, you know? Because photo can illustrate that moment, but like progression and movement is really hard to illustrate. You can do motion blur, but that's about it with the camera. So video becomes necessary. And also you get to record people, your subjects, you know, and you can hear them and really experience their environment just like you would in life, you know? So it's a little more comprehensive. It's a lot more work, a lot more time consuming, but it pays off sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's like not worth it too, so. In five words or less, how would you describe your medium? In five words or less. Mm -hmm. In what video? That you're showing I've actually got, this particular. I have five videos. Is it five out videos there. all yeah. in one? Okay, or forgive actually, me. it's six videos. I think. Okay. They're looping out there. Oh, they're looping. So, yeah, okay. they're just all different stories. Okay. So, I just ask people, there's different angles for different stories. Like, for example, one is a, a, a group called the Longbeards take um, children of varying levels of disability and handicap or uh, uh, terminal illness. And they take them hunting, turkey hunting in the spring. And it's like, it's called like the miracle hunt or whatever. So I just, I, I followed them for two days and I like stayed in this hotel with them and you know, went to their pizza parties and went hunting with them and tried to just document as much as I could. And um, yeah, so it's kind of different for every story, I should say. Absolutely. I'm Joe Mashad Scorza and I'm a photojournalist for the Post Bullets and Newspaper in Rochester. How's that? Quality. Yeah? yeah. Good. good. All right. or less, how would you explain your photography? It's a journey that changes all the time. I don't have a set thing. I'm just blurting as I go. And what is your preferred type of photography that you like to shoot? Uh, I'm still figuring that out, but I mostly do landscapes and uh, concerts, but I'm open to try anything. My name is Steven, Steven Dubois. I am a photographer, and I am at C4 tonight for photography night. Let's do it again. Good enough. Good enough. I love it. I Yeah. I don't know what, what, what to say. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in five words or less, how would you describe your medium of photography? Um, I would describe my uh, photography in kind of like 
in a deep sense I try to I try to get in touch with deep emotions mostly in women's lives I guess um, the coloring there's not much color I try not to focus in the coloring I kind of go for black or white because that's that's what I usually see when it comes to photography so. and then what is your um, type of photography um, I I go for digital photography. Um, I enjoy doing darkroom stuff, but I lean, my my fine art photography is basically digitalized. Wonderful, perfect. I am Kendra Searing, and I am a fine arts photographer, and I make art like a rock star. What's up? That's kind of weird. It's a little intense. I don't know if I want that. I was like facing down, and I was like, what's up? I'm Luke Austin, I'm a visual artist. Uh, I was a photographer and writer in the military for eight years first, uh, before I discovered that I also enjoyed other arts um, in all sorts of mediums. I especially like animation, video, and drawing. I think predominantly I try to tell a story, whether that's using images that um, held significance in my life in the past, um, and I may not have taken them at the time to tell a story, but just to have. Um, and then they come back later in my life and I see some importance in them or find some way that they can tell a story that relates to the world around me, the cultures I've seen, the places I've been, and how they all re relate together and are interconnected. And I think that there's a lot of powerful stories to tell in humanity and I feel like that's kind of what life is about. Can, can I just say for him, he, he said it all? There are no more questions needed? <laughs> yes, that's all we I can. think that's perfect for that one. I'm Tyler German. I take pictures for fun. In five words or less, how would you express your type of photography? Outdoors, nature, colorful. Just three words. Does shooting photography give you a thrill in certain circumstances? Knowing it captured the right picture uh, without having to edit, that's, that's all the thrill. And knowing people will enjoy it. It's not just personal, it's... No words for it. That's fine. It's not, just, it's not just personal. It's not just personal. <laughs> I know that you want to do a certain type of um, piece of photography um, where there is a bunch of different people, different sizes, different backgrounds, different whatever. Um, and you wanted them, was it in their... It was in their... My idea form. was to have them in their underwear, mm -hmm. all acting self-conscious, um, and do a series to have them actually, like, the first one, have them all self-conscious covering up, and to have the last the last picture, um, everybody kind of hugging, happy, not caring what they feel like in themselves, and to have that, like... Progression of insecurity to... Confidence. Yeah, just 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 two pictures though. My idea was to have two pictures, one in the beginning, one one in the end. And have that show people that you can open up and not have to be so comfortable with yourself. But I couldn't my volunteers backed out. <laughs> I was one of them, not gonna lie. But I recommend if anybody is willing to, I think that is a great idea and I would love to see it visually come to life. So I would get love a hold of this guy. I would love to make it come to life. Yeah. My name is Heather, and I, I'm a photographer and a painter, and I love making art. You ready for my question? Okay, I'm okay. for your question. In five words or less, how would you express or describe your photography? I just heard someone uh, say to me, describe it as intimate, and I would say intimate, emotional oh, I like a lot of black, black and white um, and I'm really da drawn to textures to kind of feeling like it's sort of otherworldly or dreamy or something maybe a little bit of romantic in there I mean the themes that I use are not necessarily romantic at all but there's sort of a romantic feel to some of them some of them with the emotions I don't know if I'd describe it as romantic, maybe sometimes isolated, or just all sort of emotions in there. Just emotions in general. And what type of photography do you like to do? 
I do digital. I would like to get involved doing film and doing a lot of other things, um, getting into a dark room, and so hopefully that's in, in the future for me, or finding my way to try to get involved in that and learn more. And grow as an artist. Grow as an artist, Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Hi! Okay, so I sit here or what? No, no you sit right, right here. Right, right oh, Alright. Woo! Hello. Hi. My name is Vladimir Stupar and I'm an artist. I'm uh, primarily a painter, but I also do photography and digital art. And so in five words or less, how would you describe your type of photography? My type of photography is I'm trying to capture not what I see, but actually what I'm thinking about the things that I see. So that means a lot of imagination involved. I'm starting with a documentary shot. I'm not necessarily a documentarist, but you know, you need to start with something. So I do that and I use a lot of com computer power, you know, like s softwares, mostly Photoshop. So that's how I start. In this show, for example, it's sole subject. It's Gonda building, you know, see Gonda? It's a great building, it's a great architecture. So what I do, I know that there will be people who, who just make Ganda documentary, and what I do, I just start with a, with a picture and I counterpose Ganda with something that was a long time before Ganda. You know, it's it's a Roman architecture, so I put two pictures one after another to so have Ganda with the steel and glass with the arches, Roman arches in, in stone. I know it's some kind of yeah. Art, so you kind of architecturally yeah, manipulate. Yeah. That's it how it is. It's absolutely. Uh, it's you know uh, I'm old enough to remember uh, uh, film photography. Mm -hmm. Isn't that once when I grabbed the, the the digital camera, I forgot about everything. You know because I need to do. I, I I'm not the the one who will stop after taking the picture. That's my beginning when I that's my starting point. You know so. I go and I destroy the picture and I rebuild it again, but that's a completely new picture. And it's always imagination. It's, it's my, I'm not afraid of being copied because nobody can copy that. You know, if you have your poem or something, it's yours. You know, it's your thinking. You, you can't uh, be copied. Like it could be something similar, but no, not exactly like that. You know, yeah, I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to see things differently. That's, I, I mean, this is something that it's most important thing for, for an artist to see differently and show you the things that I see that you don't see so you can see that. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, that's my philosophy. That's and where are you from? Well, uh, Peter Pan, you know where is he from? Never Never Land. Never Land, that's exactly <laughs> right. Well, you know, my country is a former Yugoslavia. It, 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 it was a country and I, now it doesn't exist. You know, it was a, uh, it, it, it had terrible war, civil war. Okay. So th that's actually the reason why I'm here. I just left everything there and then came. How old to were you? How long have you been in the states? I'm, uh, I'm old. Yeah. yeah. And I will be 61 in uh, March 13th. Well, you're looking great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Is it important? What my friend probably not. You no. Know? <laughs> yeah, I what is important is to feel, to feel well, and I do. Oh. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anytime. Appreciate it. Yeah.